You want to see every part of Kalahari Water Park because you want to know what all there is to do. Well, I got you covered. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. And let's go. First of all, you enter Kalahari from this area right here where the turnstiles are. This is inside of the arcade um, at the very back of the arcade. This is where you enter from and then you'll come into here where it says water park and come on in um, to one side you have the family changing areas and um, you also have different lockers so you'll have men's lockers over here to the left and women's lockers over here to the right now of course I'm not going to show those to you right now <laughs> by any means um, but those are uh, places at your disposal for you to use to get into Kalahari. You also have like a mother's room here. That's actually what it says. Uh, so if you're a nursing mother, this is a great place to be able to use. Also, if you have a family and need it. Now, I don't think it would be a problem if you're breastfeeding in here either, but that's something that you could use. Now, if you are continuing to walk, you have tons of lockers over here and we're going to kind of make a full loop around the outside and then we're going to kind of work our way inside a little bit to help you really get an idea of where everything is. So we've got towels here. You can pick up your towels here. Um, I think you may have to put something on, uh, like put a card down or something like that. Um, pay $25 for them so that they know they can get them back. They also have a little air conditioned cabana here that you can get if that's something you want for like a private party or something like that. They have an indoor and outdoor spa here also. Same thing over here. I actually have never been to any of these. And then they have a kids area over here. Tons of space to go to over here. Now the indoor outdoor spa, it looks like they have a certain number of people maybe that can even get in so that's maybe another reason to use the adult spa instead but it is something that you can do back here also they have tons of different cabanas that you can get the cabanas are all going to be an extra cost but it is kind of a nice thing for your family to have like a home base The cabanas, at least most of the cabanas, have like TVs and stuff like that. This cabana comes with its own pool. That's crazy. I didn't even know they had that as an option. Would be really nice though for like your own full party to be able to have. Now, like I said, we're going to go around the outskirts of it so that we can kind of see where everything is on the outside first. There are ways to get outside, and that is because there's stuff to do out here. Climbing walls, zip line, ropes course, animal park. There's all kinds of stuff out here. I'm not sure where, this isn't it. <laughs> That's not the place to go. Um, but there are a whole bunch of additional slides and zip, zip line courses and things like that that you can get to also out there. Here we have the wave pool. The wave pool is also surrounded by a whole bunch of cabanas. It looks like the wave pool though right now is down. It's not going at this moment. It is surrounded by different cabanas, but on the other side of the cabanas, there is a kids area over here, the kids safari is right here that is a great kids area it's huge and there's tons of stuff for kids to do if you continue up the stairs then we have kalahari's a couple of different slides up here these are slides with mats and they're racing slides. So people can race on their way down.
We'll wait for him to come down here while we kind of check it out. Now right here, these are great spots to be able to catch a seat. You have lots of space here to catch a seat. And uh, I think those would be really, really nice to be able to sit in because you kind of overlook the entire park. And with most of the places, that's something you pay a premium for. Here they come. One more. Now, like I said, there's stuff down here for kids to do, lots of stuff for kids to do. These are where all the different slides and kids areas are for the kids safari. So definitely a fun place. If you have kids, it's definitely worthwhile to do that. And I do think that Kalahari may have more for families to do than Great Wolf Lodge, but I don't know that because I've never been to Great Wolf Lodge. I am going there at the end of this month. So we'll be releasing these videos and then you'll have a whole bunch of Great Wolf Lodge stuff coming out. Um, so we'll be able to tell you all kinds of things about Great Wolf Lodge at that point. Once again, we've got more cabanas back here. A ton more cabanas up here on the second floor. And these all come with more uh, views of the park itself. Each of these cabanas all has names on them. Today is a Saturday. It's been a pretty busy day, actually. Come down here and we have more seats. Now again, these would come with a premium, but there's no guarantee you can get them either. So that's kind of part of the problem. And part of the reason why getting cabanas would be pretty helpful for a lot of people. Over here, we can see the end of one of the slides and the mud hut. This is the adult hot tub or spa that I talked about earlier. So if you're looking for adult uh, hot tub stuff, you can do that. This, the mud hut itself is a bar that you can go visit. So definitely worthwhile. And then we also have some uh, boogie boarding, whatever that is, I forget what it's called. Uh, but that's another thing that you can do if you would like to. It's actually pretty fun just to watch people do it too. Over here we have a couple of different fish bowls and we're going to kind of walk up the slide just to see if we can find more. I love how this is all of the uh, the ceiling. It's just really cool um, and it lets in natural light too so that's definitely a plus also. Now you can see the orange and yellow slides. Those are the racing slides. And then also, we have the big stairs over here. And those stairs lead you into the, uh, the toilet bowls. So it looks like we're actually going down here just a little bit. Here is the toilet bowl. We're going to try to get a better view.
wait for someone to come down it. While we do, we can check out the rest of the slide. This one, it looks like, also has some sort of uh, mats that go down with it. Oh, this is this is the racing side that I'm on right now. As you can see, Kalahari is a massive, massive park. It is huge. <laughs> There's so much space here. It's definitely something that you could get lost in or that your family could get lost in, especially with multiple levels that they have. You can see someone going down right now. And then more here. Down the toilet bowl. All right, now as we continue to go down, we'll see if there are any more people that we watch go. Yeah, there's someone right now. To be completely honest, I'm just not a fan of that at all. It's way too much for me. Now, obviously, we went down there just a little bit, and then you can go down into this part of the slide or into this part of the main area, or you can go down over here also. And there are more places to sit over here. Actually, those would probably not be bad places to sit if you wanted some place a little bit out of the way from the rest of the people. It does say hold the handrails on the stairs. It's a sentiment I very much agree with because everything is very wet and very slippery. Now, we are continuing to the left though in the spirit of trying to see everything along the perimeter of this park. We've got more cabanas here and other um, and other places to sit that would kind of make things a little bit easier for you. Another nice spot to grab a seat if you would want to there. There's also the family uh, slide here goes down and empties into this spot right here. Definitely nice. And we have the mud hut once again. Now the mud hut has two entrances or exits, one exit over there and one exit over here. Both pools, uh, they're hot tubs, both hot tubs go outside um, and give you a nice little spot to be able to be outside. It's actually surprisingly not that cold, but it can be a little bit coolish out there. Um, but when your body's in, your, your head is out. When your body's in the warm water and your head is outside, um, it's not half bad at all. How'd you guys know I was here? told you we were waiting by Wave and we saw you pass by it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. I just looked for it, but yeah. So yeah, here it says the 21 and older indoor outdoor hot tub and swim up bar. Here we have quite a bit of food and it's kind of the first spot where we're gonna have to walk through the middle of the park. We've got Zulu Grill. We have plenty of seats here for you to enjoy. And the uh, Flow Rider, that's what it's called, um, options. We also have Tiki Cup, 
frozen drinks. Um, and that's a little bar where you can grab whatever you may want, whatever would make your ha heart happy. Um, and then also some smoothies. I think it's the same, I think it's the same people that you'd be working with to get the smoothies or the bar. Now here's the back side of the Monsoon Saloon. Once again, that's the same kids area that we saw earlier from the other side. Uh, lots of space for kids. We've got more tables to sit at or to put your stuff down at. And then we have another flow rider over here, but I think that's for individual rentals for those. Here we have more slides. So some very, very tall slides. And there is also another family slide over here. We'll probably be hitting that pretty quickly, actually. We've got some more cabanas. Each of these cabanas has a fan. They also have a TV for you to watch. I'm not sure why you want to watch TV when you come to Kalahari, but okay. And there's another large cabana for a very large area. Private Whirlpool Cabana for Diabetes Youth Services. So yeah, they have their own private whirlpool. That's pretty cool. Now here we have the Lazy River. This thing was packed just a little bit ago, but not so packed now. And we're gonna walk over this little bridge to get down to where you would actually enter the Lazy River. This Lazy River goes about halfway around the park. It doesn't go everywhere. Uh, it's fairly long. There's only one entrance on it, though. Got some large slides. And we have lots of lockers here for you to get also. We actually have a party room also. You can check that out if you would like to. You can enter the Lazy River here. And this will take you back up to the front where we can then get to uh, some additional lockers and also the men and women's locker rooms again where we started with, uh, where we started earlier. Now from that point on, we're gonna take this little middle pathway and we're gonna walk through it and show you all the stuff that really we just saw, but now you're gonna kinda of see it from a different angle. So here, we've got a kid's uh, pool for them to play in. It's definitely fun. Lots of space to play basketball or whatever you wanna do down there. Once again, we have the kids, um, the Monsoon Lagoon, I think is what this is called. Um, you have some kids slides, lots of places to get splashed. You have yet another smoothies place slash just a snack area to uh, take advantage of here. After all, sw after all, swimming makes you very, very hungry. And now we are coming back to like you you would have the option of going to the left there and we've already gone down that pathway or you can come here to the right and we have the zulu grill and the monsoon saloon both here again both places we just passed walking around that way um, to get over to the lazy river So that's it for this little tour. Say hi to Drew and Yoko. Hi. We're going to continue our vlog for the night. And uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet and press that like button. Do all that kind of fun YouTube stuff. Also, tell me down below what you think of this place and if this video was helpful to you. Thank you guys so much and let's go. 
Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week, so press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also, check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again, and let's go!